I'm Ben Powers from Munro Instruments and I'm going to show you how to set up the Pendulum Skip Tester. I'd recommend you start by removing the main pendulum frame, the arm and the rear foot from the box. You'll also want to take your sample holder out as well. You should lay the pendulum frame down gently on its front, taking care to protect the needle whilst you do so. You will also need the spanner and the C-spanner that can be found in the black tool pouch. Start by slotting the rear foot into position. This is secured by a long pin. Designs vary, but you will either have a threaded insert in the bottom of the foot, or you will have to attach a nut to the bottom of the pin. Next, you apply the washer and the nut to the exposed thread on the other side of the foot to lock it in position. Finger tight is fine at this stage. You can then carefully lift the machine up and place it on the sample holder. When in position, it is then easy to tighten up the nut with the spanner. Next, you take the arm and line up the small hole in the mating with the pin on the main bearing assembly. Once flush, you lift it into the arm release mechanism. Once secure in the arm release mechanism, you can then do up the captive nut first by hand and then with the C-spanner. Return the pointer to its home position to reduce the risk of damage. Place a 6 kilo weight on the rear foot to increase stability and repeatability. The next step is to make sure that the machine is levelled using the built-in spirit bubble. Take care to reduce parallax error by looking directly onto the spirit level from above. Adjustment of the level is made by rotating the threaded feet and locking them in position. With the machine now levelled, you can carry out a quick couple of checks that will let you know whether you've set up the machine correctly or if the machine has been damaged whilst in transit. With the foot hanging plumb and the pointer up against the pointer stop, the needle should align with a mark on the middle of the scale plate. You need to return the arm to the release catch in order to check this alignment without parallax error. If you now push the needle against the back of the backstop and take a reading from the scale, the number of your reading should match a number quoted on the front right bottom corner of your scale plate. In my case, the number is 137. With those checks complete, your machine is now ready to use for slider preparation or verification prior to testing. That was how to set up the machine. Thanks very much for watching.